Hello folks and a warm welcome back to my channel. Um, it's now cracking on towards late August uh, and the weather is quite nice as you can see. It's forecast to, for the clouds that are around to clear up tonight. So I'm going to take the opportunity to take my bigger rig up, the one you can see behind me, out tonight. Um, I haven't used this much over the summer uh, or in June and July just because the uh, amount of darkness is uh, is so short that I basically can't be bothered to drag it all out. Uh, but now the sun sets, I think, around eight o'clock this evening, so should be dark by about nine to enable me to do polar alignment and stuff, and um, start shooting about nine thirty. My name's John, and I make videos on camping, walking, and astronomy. If you like what you see in this video, then please check my channel out as you may find others that interest you there. But in the meantime, let's crack on with this video. Um, the rig behind me is a Skywatcher EQM 35 mount with a um, William Optics Red Cat 51 scope on and a Canon Astro modified DSLR on the end of that. Um, and even though this is a fairly lightweight rig as, as astrophotography rig goes, it's still a, a fair old heft to drag out into the garden. So, um, so far this summer, in June and July at any rate, I've been using the um, Skywatcher Star Adventure mount and small, very wide field telescope, which is a, a much lighter setup. But today I'm delighted to be getting my main rig out again. Over the course of this summer, I've been uh, using a very wide field picture that I took of the area around the constellation Cygnus and gradually working my way across that picture, focusing on um, closer up views of different parts of that photograph. And today I've now made it right to the far end of that photograph in the bottom corner. And that area is an area that contains a nebulosity known as the Veil Nebula, which is a, a supernova remnant. So uh, I've shot this before, but not for a couple of years. And I've also done very wide field shots, which haven't been very satisfactory of it. So today I'm going to focus on one part of that nebula, which is called the Eastern Veil Nebula, which is one of my favourite summer objects. It's um, like a stunning bright red weirdly shaped nebula that I really like. So uh, yeah that's going to be my target tonight assuming it stays clear. It's um, gradually clearing up as the day goes on and so I'm pretty hopeful that come seven or eight o'clock I'll have clear skies. So uh, yeah I'll bring you back a little bit later and we'll see what happens. You're smiling, just really doing nothing That's the thing I like about you mm. On the highway, it's our way Route 66 and we keep on driving We just do what we wanna do Yeah, no nothing's complicated Well, I'm a very happy boy today. Um, as you saw, it was lovely and clear last night and I locked onto my target first time, no problems at all. And the first shot that I took of the, the image to see, you know, make sure I'd got it all in, uh, in focus and everything, I was very pleased with. And that gave me great hopes for my um, processing that I did uh, this morning. Uh, I had to resist the temptation not to do it at, at midnight last night. Uh, basically, I did start shooting around half past nine, and at that time, the object 
that I was after, the Vale Nebula's kind of up there. And I've got a street light behind me over there that over the period of a couple of hours, the target drifts into the sphere of influence of the street light. Um, so really I just get like two hours of, uh, of exposure time. I couldn't start shooting any earlier than I did simply because uh, it wasn't dark enough. So uh, two hours was what I got. Um, I was shooting 100 second exposures, I think, in, in the end, um, which seemed to show the target up well enough in a single exposure without um, basically just blowing the, the, the whole sky out. So uh, yeah, I took two hours of 100 odd second exposures and uh, processed the image this morning. With hindsight, I think I could probably have got the whole of the Veil Nebula within the, the shot if I'd framed it up better. Um, maybe I would have done, maybe I wouldn't. There's um, a middle bit of the Veil Nebula. The primary part of that's called uh, Pickering's Triangle, I think, and that appears in my shot, but not the Western Veil Nebula, which is the, the furthest part on the other side. But I suspect that I could have got it in the, um, into a single frame, but that's something I'll probably look at another day. But uh, nonetheless, I'm very pleased with the outcome of, uh, of what I got. Uh, it's a reasonable improvement on previous efforts. Really, to make much more improvement on it, I would need to take loads more exposure time. And for me, because it crops up, in the summertime this object i'm limited to like two hour sessions partly because of this street light i was telling you about so i'd have to do multiple nights i think to get more than two hours worth of exposure but nonetheless i'm um, very chuffed with what came out um, i managed to get some of the the fainter nebulosity in the middle of the uh, veil nebula complex which is good i've never managed to get that before so um yeah, overall, I'm, uh, I'm quite a happy boy. So I shall uh, put that image up now and uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Cheerio.